Okay, uh, clamps come off, and uh, we can look to see how wonderfully we did. Let's set this down so it's a little bit of photo sense. Here we go. Um, I got some glue ooze. Remember that whole squeezing the glue as you push it through? You know, like, I still got some of that. I got to clean this stuff off. Um, what a mess. Uh, see what happens. I'll get the get the chisel. But all in all, most of the piece is good. Most of it has no glue sticking out. You know, as I say that, I'm really checking. Um, a little bit right there, and most of most of it's on the front. <coughs> Which is good because I can clean that up. All right, let's get some chisels and get in there, clean this. It looks like. I mean, maybe I'll find out differently when I go to put the drawer in, but it looks good. It looks good. All right, now. Yeah. Well, there it is. Suffice it to say, I'm going to clean the glue off, right? You and I are virtually the only people that are ever going to see this inside here because it's going to spend the majority of its time with a drawer in it, which, you know, doesn't mean I don't have to care, it just means I have to go nuts. Well, that looks good. I'm going to pass a little bit of sandpaper through there. Um, on, I don't even know what, oh well, pass a little sandpaper through. I was thinking of putting it on a stick. I just decided that was going to, by the time I figured out what size stick I needed and how to hold my hand on it, that I'd probably be done. Really, it came out well considering, considering how much glue I put on things. All right, um, flip it over, work from the other side. Next, I want to get after these irregularities here. That, that's not now. Get this now. There you have it. Wow. Wow. Get some excess glue. I'll get that. Probably use a mechanical sander. Go around the front. Yeah, I'd say that's next. I've got a piece of 180 on the sander right now. All right, cool. All right, sanding time. Let's, let's do a little bit of that. Might. <sighs> All right. I think we'll probably celebrate the by going around getting the router set up and routing this top edge. I think that should that will be a fun little thing to do. This is the thing that I want to get rid of. This little bit of a lip. I'm not certain. So I'd like to clamp this down, but I'm not going to. Well, that's smooth. That's smooth. Just a little bit of lip there. Oh, my God. oh yeah. Geez, isn't that nice? All right. Other end. 
This sounds worse. Hmm. I definitely want to clamp this. I don't want to clamp it in the middle here, because that will, you know, bulge. But I can throw a clamp down here in the end, right over this vertical. Get some real tension on it. All right. This is one of those pencil mark stories, I think. Let's do this. Now we have a fairly good idea as to what I'm doing wrong, because I shouldn't see much of that pencil off. Wow. Beach. That's hard. You know what? I'm going to wait. When I run the router across that thing, I'll take most of the top of this off, even if I don't get that. I'm going to try this. I'm going to wait. Wait. I'm going to wait. Um, pass it across the face. And then I guess go to the router. Significant difference between sanding beach and sanding pine. But mechanical advantage being what it is, it's done. The back of this has got some saw marks on it. I um, hmm. sorry about that. Okay, back of this has got some saw marks on it. I think I'm going to pass the sander across. All right, let's um, let's get set up for routing this top edge. I think that's next. Let's do that. I'm going to want to somehow clamp this. Oh yeah, that'll work. Perfect. All right, good, good, good. Get a router. <laughs> you know that router that I was, said I was all done with for right now. Yeah. Sort of stupid. Go right back. Okay, let's uh, get set up. Um, so I got a 3 8 inch rounding over bit, which has been what I've been thinking about since the get go. The 3 8 inch rounding over bit should allow me to round over the entirety of this end grain, which I think will make it look good. this in a couple of passes. So the first one I'm going to set down not all the way. I'm going to set down a little bit. Nearly the whole cut. But because of the curve, I'll be taking more off in the second cut, I think. It doesn't much matter. I want to do it in two passes. Okay, now let's study this for a second. Cutter says it's cutting in that direction. That means when I come off the end of this thing, it's going to snap that. So I have to put a block here and clamp it in place. So then I come off this end, I don't chip this. Okay. Um, what I need to do is do the whole rest of it and then clamp this piece on like that and do that pass and then immediately set it down and do the next pass. Okay.
Here we go. Um, earmuffs. Put your ear protection on. Huh? Yeah. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Okay, that's too close. Damn it. Okay. Oh, come on. My bed must not be flat. One of these things is therefore sticking up further than the other. I, oh, damn. I know what it is, there's play in it. I let it down, shit. My fault. All right. Not happy, not happy. Now I've got this overhang on this edge, which is now just a teeny bit of wood. I'm gonna get rid of it still. It just unplugged itself. How did it do that? So now I'll do a little sanding. I think I'll change, I'll do one little buzz with this and then I'll change grits. And then uh, we'll be able to move on. Okay, this is maddening. Jeez. Cool. My little mistake is pretty much gone. Good, 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 good. Well, that, I don't know if it's going to be a major transformation, but it should be a bit of a transformation for the piece. A bit. Let's take a look. <laughs> 